let's continue with our work now let's go to the third row where they say the sale of sanitary paper remember it is advisable for us to always start with what to always start with the um, the last column and if you check the last column there which is i h i there sanitary pads remember they are zero rated so i'm going to come here and put zero rated can you see now the sanitary pads are not better can you see now so this means that the minute i put it here it means I know that VET is not going to be applicable. I'm not going to calculate any VET. Okay? Uh, but firstly, what is the first thing that I need to calculate? I'm going to start with J. As you can see here, we've got J. Uh, what are we going to calculate when it comes to J? Uh, if you can check J, let me just, it's a little bit better here. Uh, I'm just going to delete this so that I cannot have too much information. Let me delete this. Remember, you can always go back to the other video and check the calculation. So I'm just going to get rid of these so that you can understand, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Now, firstly, I need to calculate G. Can you see now? But when it comes to G, I don't have H now. Can you see now? So we just have to analyze what we have. But luckily, we've got the two amounts under cost price and selling price. Can you see now? So what we can do, we can find the profit. Can you see now? So what we can do, we can just come to this and say, okay, what is the cost price in this case? Can you see now? So we can first calculate the cost price. Oh, the cost price is given is how much? Yeah, it's going to be nine seven seven. Can you see now? And the selling price is eleven. The selling price is eleven three six nine. Okay. Okay. 11, 3, 6, 9. It's on top there, you can see. It's on top there. So, remember, this is not vertical, so we don't have to worry. There's no vet. Remember, if there was vet, I was supposed to take out vet first. But I can't take out vet because it's zero rated. So, if we wrote standard rated, we're supposed to calculate this amount excluding vet because we cannot calculate profit with the amount inclusive of vet. So it means this one is excluding VET, the cost price is excluding VET, and the selling price is excluding VET. So what is the difference between the two? So you just have to say 11,369 minus 997, and then we get something like, uh, uh, I think it's 1,593. You can see. So this is the profit that we made. I hope it makes sense. Okay. So now, by doing that, we can calculate the markup, and we can also calculate the gross margin. So let's start with the markup, which is G. So remember, this is a formula. You must always know the formula. So I'm going to put the formula down here so we can see. So the formula for calculating the markup here, remember the formula, the markup, Remember that? It's very much important. The profit divided by the cost price and then times by 100. So, if you do that, let's see how can we do that. The profit in this case is 1593. Divide the cost price is 9797. That's the cost price. 
then you multiply by 100 so that your answer can be in the form of a percentage. And then if you do that, how much do we get? Let me see on the my calculator. Let's calculate. Divide by that. And then I get 16.28. I just get 16.28. That is what? That is my markup up there. Can you see now? So it doesn't matter. Remember, this formula can, is catering for both percentages and even the amount. Even here, if they were percentages, I was supposed to use the same formula. I would get the same answer. Okay? Now, at least I have got what? I have got this markup. So now I can be able to find what? The gross margin with this markup. I can go and analyze this. I'm going to show you. It doesn't matter. But because I've got this amount, I can just continue using this amount. But we need to know the formula for gross margin. Remember I gave you the formula before? Let me just put it like this uh, without the person. So the gross margin, I'm going to put it here at the bottom, the gross margin formula. Let me take out the percentages. As I said, you can also use percentages if you are given percentages. But in this case, I'm only given one, the amount. Can you see now? And don't forget to match by it by. I can use the same technique here. I'm going to say, okay, the profit again, remember the profit is that is 1593 divided by, but in this case, I must divide by the selling price. I divide by the selling price of 11369 times 100 to make it a percentage. Let's see how much do we get. Uh, that is the answer for H. Let's see, H, H, H. When I calculate, let's see how much we get. We get 14%. So that's 14% is my H here, is my gross margin. Easy like that. But if you don't want to use this amount, you can also use the markup percentages. For example, uh, I'm just going to copy this. Just want to show you if you use the percentages, you will still get the same answer. Can you see now? So, here, obviously, because you were analy you're analyzing this markup, which is 16.28, which is on cost, meaning 100 will be here. Because it's on cost. And the markup is 16.28. And then obviously, let's see, 16 point to it. And then the selling price will be 116.28. Can you see now? So uh, you are looking for it. You are looking for the cross margin, which is there. This is the cross margin here. Can you see now? You could just say, okay, now what is the profit? The profit is 16.28. You can just say 16.28 divided by selling price, which is 116.28 times 100. You will still get what? 14%. Can you see now? So it's, it's up to you. You either use the amounts or you use the percentage. So just use what we have. So here I used the amounts because I had them already. But if I didn't want to use the amount, I could have used the markup itself. I analyzed the markup, and then after I follow the formula. Easy like that. That was G. For G, you know what I mean. Okay? Now, uh, let's go. I'm going to delete this and find the next one. I don't want to make these videos long, so I just got to do them like, Piece by bit, bit by bit. Okay, I'm just gonna erase this one. Erase this one. Erase this one. Okay. Now let's go to the fuel, for example. We know that it's zero rated. They gave it to they gave it to us, uh, meaning we don't have to worry about that. They give us the ma uh, the gross margin. The gross margin is the same as markup on selling price. So I'm going to use the gross margin to find the markup. 
So because here I'm analyzing 65 percent, I'm going to put 65 here. But remember, I must check. This is margin. It's the same as markup on selling price, meaning the 100 must be on selling price. I must come here and put 100 here. And the minute I put 100 here, it means I follow the formula, and I'm going to have 35 there on top. Okay, this is very much important. And now I can come and calculate the markup for J. But what is the formula for markup? Remember, we must always follow the formula for the markup. So remember, the markup percentage is always profit divided by the cost price times by 100. So that formula, I'm going to put it down here. You see, this is the markup. You see now, for me to find the markup, I must just take the profit divided by the cost. So in this case, the profit is 65. Remember that, we're following that, it's 65, that's the profit. And I will divide by what? By the cost. The cost is 85. And I multiply by 100. Do you see And then let's use the calculator and see how much do we get. And the answer is, is the answer now? 18.57%. This is the answer. So I'm going to come here and put 18.57%. Can you see how it is there? It's very much important. But now I can be able to calculate the cost price because now I've got this markup. So it means I must go up there and analyze the markup that I just calculated. So I'm just going to put it this side. Okay, just put it this side, put it this side, but what am I doing? Remember, I'm using this column to find this column. So I'm going to analyze this 18.57, I'm going to write 18.57 here. So 18.57, that is the markup, remember markup on cost, we check the heading there, on cost, meaning 100 must be put in line with the cost price. So the minute I do that, I'm going to have 118.57. Can you see now? That's how I analyze that markup. Now I can say, okay, what am I trying to calculate? I'm calculating the cost price. I go and put the amount in there, the question mark in line with the cost price because I'm calculating the cost price. But which amount will I use to calculate the cost price? I'm going to use the selling price here, of which is how much? 5,400. I'm going to put the selling price here. Can you see now? So now I'm ready to calculate. Remember, wherever I put question mark, I always put on top. So I mean, I'm going to say for this one, I'm going to say 100. Divide. Wherever I put the amount, I will divide with by what? I'm going to divide by 118.57. you see now? So I do that. I think now you understand why do I have to do that. Can you see now? So now I'm going to find how much? I'm finding 455. So I'm going to put it shortly now. Let me put it. That's the answer that I found. Can you see now? I found 4554.27. Can you see now? That is the cost price that I found. So I'm going to come here and put it here. Can you see now? That's how I found it. Easy if you're careful. Easy now. now let's do the last one. Uh, I'm just gonna get rid of this info. Get rid of this info. Get rid of this info so that we cannot have too much admin, if you know what I mean. Um, too much admin. So now in this case, we need to find the selling price and also the gross margin. So I prefer if we can start with the, it doesn't matter. Let's start with the selling price, okay? For me to find this selling price, obviously I need to use this markup. But let's first analyze this markup. Markup on cost, 100 in line with the cost price. 
and then that one markup is 56 point uh, i'm gonna put this a decimal so i'm gonna put it as 56.33 is the carry i'm gonna just put two decimals and then obviously the selling price is gonna be 153 156.33 okay or you can still analyze as 56.56 and, and, and 130 it's up to you because your calculator can do this okay so I'm gonna try and calculate the selling price. Okay, so I'm gonna say okay. I'm gonna calculate the selling price. Remember, I'm gonna put the question mark on, on let's say in line with what I calculate. I'm trying to calculate the selling price because I'm calculating this column. I'm gonna use this amount of three thousand five hundred. So maybe I'm gonna put cross price here. I'm trying to calculate the selling price. Okay. Now, so when I calculate the selling price, let's see, wherever I put question mark, I always put on top. I'm going to say 156.33 divided by whatever, wherever I put the amount, I put the amount in line with 100. I'm going to divide by 100. And I'll multiply it by 3,500. And how much do I get? Let's see. That is um, let's see how much I got. I'm going to calculate 156.33 divided by 100 times 3.5. I got 54. Unfortunately, this is excluding that. Okay, this amount is excluding that. But if I check that, this column must include that, and at the same time, this is standard rated, meaning must include that. So I'm gonna include that on this. Remember, we did analyze for that, and just cancel this. So if we calculate that on this amount here. It's going to be 115 divided by 100 times this amount. See, times this amount. Okay. So, times 1.15, I get 62. Nine two point two eight. You see, this is what I got. So this is the amount including that. So that is the amount that I must put there. You see now, it's like that. So you need to be careful. Just know what you are doing at all times. So the last thing is to find the gross margin. So because I've got everything here, I don't have to worry. How do I find the gross margin? I just have to make sure that I put the formula down. Remember the gross margin formula? The gross margin formula. I'm going to put it down for you here at the bottom. The gross margin formula. You see now, gross margin, I've been showing you all along. So mark up profit, divide by the selling price. Don't forget to multiply by 100 to make it a percentage. Okay, and then how can I do that? What is the markup profit? Remember, we're using this markup, this one, to find that one. So the markup is 56.33, and I'll divide by the selling price, which is 156.33. And I must multiply it by 100. You see? And then how much do I get? Let's see. Let's use the calculator quickly. And the 
calculator here, it says I'm getting 36.03. I'm getting 36.03. As you can see, it's the cross margin, and I'm going to print here. That's my hand. 36.03. Simple as that. So here we just completed our exercise. Practice makes perfect. Good luck, everyone. Make sure that you study hard. Thank you, guys.